Okay. Hello? Can you hear me? Hey guys, anyone else having uh, problems logging into IB? I can't get into TWS. I, I can't log into my trading platform. So I can't, uh, I can't uh, do anything <laughs> in that account. have to call them later I was in touch with customer support but they said I have to call it in <sighs> yeah what what should I look at uh, in account management no the account is not drained I just can't get into the trading platform Why is IB shit since the transi transition? Are you having troubles? Yeah, but I can't get into web trader either. <laughs> Have you transferred? Well, um, I think I have transferred. Check it out later. Well, I've been, I sent the proof of address like two weeks ago, but they still haven't reviewed it. It's still, it says it's in process. So I, I don't know, maybe it's that my account, they 
kind of deleted my account. <laughs> well, they didn't delete it, but I, I can't get into the trading platform. Fucking annoying. Uh, this plug is gonna be a juicy, juicy one. Eventually. But is today gonna be the day? I don't know. But th that is my main watch. It's, 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 it is my main watch. It's high priced, it's easy to borrow, it's perfect. Why is there a warning? Because I uh, changed the um, classification. Yes, this channel is intended for a mature audience. Yes, there may or may be not may not be um, a brandy love related content. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, plug is gonna be my main watch. This NNDM is potentially high tight flagging. QS, I don't think it's ready yet, probably not gonna touch it. Um, yeah, there are some like XL I like. Yeah, well, I'll, I guess I'll have to take them as they, as they trigger. Some some of these watch list stocks are gapping down, so it's too, it's kind of early to tell. Skills is a nice one, almost up 30% on it. Fubo, man. I, I wish I had had another 100,000 shares when it broke out late day. It was such a perfect intraday setup. It was such a perfect setup. It had been building higher lows and had this tight, tight range. Or like midday. It, it, it broke out midday. I should have had another 100,000 shares. I really should have. Man, that would have been a nice one. Um, shoulda, coulda, woulda. But it's a nice mover. It's a nice mover. It's up uh, over 20% from entry now. Skills is not squeezing, it's going higher, just going higher. Yeah, guys, I I'm totally going to ignore questions uh, that, uh, you know, if it's obvious you haven't read the instructions on the screen, I'm, I'm totally going to ignore it. I'm not even going to acknowledge them. Uh, we need to run a tight ship here. 
as the audience has grown. And especially like yeah, f first 30 minutes out of the gate, I don't, I don't want to see any random shatter or any random comments. We are here to trade, not to socialize. We are here to make money. Not to socialize. Socialize we can do later when things calm down. First 30 minutes is the focus on trading. Yeah, so plug is my um, main watch. Um, not sure today is going to be the day but it could be like this thing could very easily like if it pulls back to the 10 day that's a 35 percent move right there to the 20 day we're talking about like a 40 percent move 45 percent move so it you know this thing make a big big move Potentially, but we don't know how much higher it's gonna go first. It could go to 80 today. I have no idea so it's all about uh, Waiting for that good setup Yeah, I know laser is also my watch list. I, I like it. It's, it's a, it looks it, it's a decent one. Yeah It is Right, markets open in one minute. Hey David, good luck to you too. Hey David, don't blow up on any options trades. I think PLTR needs a few more days. It looks like it's scapping down today. If you can go sideways a couple of more days, it, it will be a really good setup. It's not really a really good setup yet. It's a okay, it's an okay one, but if you can go sideways a couple of more days, it's gonna be a five star setup. Okay, good luck, David. Good luck, everyone. Oh, that's why Mara is set uh, down. They uh, finalized the offering, I guess, right? Or maybe not. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. 20 per share.
Holy shit. Plug. I didn't even see it took out opening range lows. That's annoying. BLD, PNF cell are also fading together with the plug move. Looks like everything is triggering right now. So plug is right on the VVAP right now.
Oh yeah, plug. Taking out loser eggs again. I don't have full size, unfortunately. Peel is still holding in an uptrend. There, there's no short here yet. Um, it undercut the 20 EMA again and reclaimed. The only way I would short it if it takes out lows of the day, if it fails at holding the 20 EMA. But for now, it's still holding it. Like you know, just can't it can't hold below it. Plug is on VWAP again. So plug, if it uh, reclaims VWAP and uh, takes out this lower high it made, I'm going to cover half and I'm going to use the, the other half, I'm going to cover if it uh, takes out like the highs of the day. And if it can tighten up a little bit, I may add a bit more. I only have like half size so far, 150,000 shares. I don't have the bolts right now to add more.
Tesla is um, so far building lower highs on the 60. It is fading a little bit. I think it needs to lose this 20 EMA before I'm gonna touch it again. And if it holds the 20 EMA and uh, keeps building this uh, range here and breaks out of it, I I'm gonna go long again. Look, I, I think, you know, people are commenting or commenting the size I'm trading. Like, I, I think, you know, th this thing is one of, this is a, it's a five star setup. It's a five star setup. I'm, I'm, I'm going heavy on this thing. If I, if I get one more good ad spot, which may be, uh, may, mm, yeah, we'll see. I may miss it, I may miss it, but if we get one good ad spot, I'm gonna double my size. I have conviction on this thing. You know, next stop could be the 10 day moving average. It, it's like, it, it reminds me about the MRNA. Now MRNA didn't even, you know, didn't go down as much as I thought it would, but on this one too, I had enormous size. I had much more size than I have on this one right now. Ah, oh, fuck, please, one more VWAP test. One more VWAP test. BLDP, no, uh, you know, guys, fuel cell BLDP, they're all the same thing. Plug is the best one, stick to that one. That's the five star setup. These are like three star. BLDP and fuel cell, they're not as extended. They're not as extended. Plug is the best one. The plug is the leader. Where plug go goes, the others go. Looks like uh, every single stock in the stock market is up again today. Oh, Palantir broke out of this range. There's just so many things going. You can throw a dart and you will make, you will make money. <laughs> Insane. Never seen a market like this. It's been like this for the past like year past like 12 months has been non-stop non-stop every time you think it's gonna be you know called down for a few weeks or even a few months nope maybe it comes down for a few days and then you get a bunch of setups again <laughs> insane not expev what about, what about expev no boomers have ever, yes they have, late 90s. No millennials and no generation, what is it, generation Z has ever seen a market like this. But boomers have, boomers have seen this before. How is dot com different or much different? Like right now, the EV stocks and the SPACs, it's like the dot com stocks of the 90s.
Yeah, I think so too. I see. Yeah, I, I think what I, from what I've heard, uh, I I think so too. Ninety nine two thousand was crazier. Which really doesn't like this NGA ticker. I have to approve uh, messages like every day when people men mention this NGA. Don't they have a function that remembers approved uh, words? Did I say Twitch or Twitter? I said Twitch, right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, there were some pretty deep pullbacks. Um, Or sharp pullbacks. <clears throat> nickel. I mean, even nickel is up fifteen <laughs> percent. <sighs> pluggily, 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 plug. I hope it bounces back to or like. Um, I don't know. Goes sideways for a bit and then starts fading. Damn, I should have bought this NNDM, I guess. Oh man, it's gonna go to 20. It's gonna go straight to 20. Oh my god, it also had a 5 star interrate breakout. Oh, it's gonna go to 20. And it's pretty liquid too. Or, well, not that liquid. Well, actually, this, yeah. <sighs> so, this can, I'm in, but I can't. Sell it since I get can't get into my IB account. Okay, thank you for that. No plug, no plug, no, 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 no. Not yet, not yet. Wait up. Well, I guess I'll have to. You know what? Honestly, I don't think I would have had balls to add another 150,000 shares. That would have been a record uh, position. I, I was short like... Uh, well, I, I don't think I've ever had a, such a big position before. I'm not sure I would have had balls. I, I guess I'll have to manage with the shares I have. Peloton, uh, four star. I would say it's a zero star setup. It's really not a good setup. Here, down here, it was a four star setup when I bought it. Yeah, right here, it's an it's a zero star setup. Gino, go in line gambling. Ah, it's too thin. I mean, like everything, like everything is going up. I I, I don't even I don't even care anymore. <laughs> It's just, I'm just gonna, 
manage what I have. There's too many. There's too many things going up. I can't keep up. I read that there's five new SPACs coming every day. Five new SPACs. It's insane. SPAC mania. It's like the dot-com mania. Everyone wants to be a SPAC. Oh my god, Airbnb! This is what an IPO breakout can do. And this is almost a mega cap stock. Pretty, oh, actually, it's not at that big of a move percentage-wise. 15%. Well, it's actually a big move for such a large company, I guess. Yeah, so much money. Yeah, if this isn't a bubble, I don't know what... Yeah, certain parts of the market is, are definitely in, the, in a bubble. I, I, I don't know if the overall market is, I, 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 yeah, you know. But, but certain parts are definitely, there's no question about it. Woozy. Wow, good setup. Yeah, beautiful. Look at how tight it is on the 60. Higher lows. This is a five star setup. At 20 day, look at what happened. As soon as the 20 day caught up, this thing is breaking out. Really beautiful. Did I buy Vox? Um, no. And you, you know, you, you, if you think about it, you will probably figure out why I didn't buy it. It was a very, it was a good EP. Had very, you know, good looking at technicals, fundamentals, the volume, all the everything was there, or like relative volume. But there's one big problem with it. Can you spot it? Why do you guys think I didn't buy it? Liquidity. Thank you. Yes, this is a micro cap stock. Okay. Like it's hard to buy more than a few thousand shares of this thing. Like let's say you bought five thousand shares yesterday that's a that's like you, you pretty much can't do many more anymore because you're gonna be like se several percent of the average daily volume that would have only been a hundred thousand dollar position makes no sense for me to trade it so that's the reason i didn't buy it yeah if you have a small account no problem i i liked it yesterday In insane earning speed the technicals were good and, you know, that's what a good EP looks like. Like this thing, I wouldn't be surprised if this thing goes to, I don't know, 30, 40 before the next earnings report. So if you identified and traded it yesterday, good job. You're on track to becoming a very successful trader. Oh, Mara is taking out low opening range lows. Okay. Bitcoin pulling back. I really hope for a washout to the 50 day in Bitcoin. It is kind of flagging on the 60 minute. It's kind of, you know, you don't know if it's going to result in a downside or upside yet. It's kind of building a triangle on 60 minute. Uh, but ideally, like if this thing can um, have one leg down, another leg down, bounce off the 50, I'm gonna load up on GBTC again. I only have like half size left or third size left on GBTC, but you know, I'm, I'm gonna load up on it. Holy shit, plug. Yeah, unfortunately not full size. Unfortunately, not full size. I, I kind of, yeah. 
My bolts weren't big enough. Like, I'm gonna tell you guys something. I didn't say it because I was so stressed out when it happened. But on mRNA... Where, where is it? When I shorted it... Wait, where is this thing? May? Oh, this is May. When I shorted it on this day here... Like, my risk on the trade was like a million bucks. <laughs> because I took like a loss at first. Because I got some, my, my trading platform kind of, there was some lag and I got some really bad fills and I got stopped out of those fills. And then I got back in again. So my total loss, if I would have gotten stopped out of this, uh, of all the ads later, I would have taken like a million dollar loss on it. <laughs> but you know, you when you see a five star setup, you gotta risk, you gotta take bigger risk. You can't go on, you know, you can't do normal size. You have to do bigger risk. If you say you're normally risking a 0.5% on a trade or 0.25 like I usually do, but if you see something really high conviction, you gotta do more size. You gotta do like 1%, 1.5%, 2%. If you have the balls to do it, I usually don't have it nowadays, unfortunately, because I'm getting more and more conservative. Um, because I don't really need to take as big risks anymore. I just need don't need that headache. But when I had a smaller account, I could really go. I had I had bigger balls back in the day. Let's see, if Tesla loses the 20 EMA, I, I think I'm gonna do this one on the short side too. Because it is building lower highs on the 60 minute, and if it loses the 20, that will confirm the, the um, downside. Um, so we'll see, we'll see. We gotta, I'm, I'm gonna, just gonna stalk it for now, potentially. I really wanted this thing higher, uh, but you know, it may just shop around for a, few days or few weeks and then go higher to 1200 or something uh, but this is not nothing i'm gonna do big size on i'm gonna do like half size or something i i did half size right now let's see what happens if it reclaims i'm gonna get out so it's it's a very like tight stop or if it like goes green on a day that would invalidate the trade That's all it's trading is small. You look for these areas on, on stocks that, you know, make big moves. Uh, what? Hey, any was who short uh, TAN in center point? I'm getting bored in on this thing. It's not easy to borrow anymore. That's why I guess. Can I make a new account with ten thousand dollars and speed run it to one million dollars? No. Would be great content. You know what would be better content? If I keep my account where it is and uh, speed run it to 100 million, that would be even better content. That's the content I'm going for. All these guys that do the, this, you know, I've seen it a lot over the years, these, uh, you know, these uh, trading service providers, they open up these small accounts. This uh, like small account challenge. Guys, you have to understand, these guys make money off of you, okay? They don't make money trading. They make most of the money. That's why they do open these small accounts to show to everyone, oh, look at what's possible. Everyone can do it. Um... 
But I'm, I'm personally never gonna do anything like that. Ever. Oh, I forgot to add Tesla to my positions list. Yeah, thanks for uh, uh, pointing it out. Hey, David, if, if you give me a 10... Oh, uh, that sounds like a really bad deal. So if you give me 10,000, I give you back a million in a year. Hmm. Hey, David, I have to think about it. TGTX conviction level. Oh, that's this is a really good setup. It's it's pretty much a four uh, four five star setup. Well, uh, the thing is, you can trade breakouts because, um, I, I, well, well, it depends on what times you work, obviously. But, um, or well, I guess it's hard if you, but if you trade on on mobile, you you know you can trade from work. I I have friends who did it, um, but it's hard. It is hard. Uh, I don't remember what the rest of the question is. Uh, damn. Uh, oh, there it is. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, you can try trade anticipation too. You can't set the fixed 3% stop on stock because these things have all have different uh, ADRs. Woozy is 15%. TGTX is 5.7%. AQB is 11.5%, Perry is 10%, like or 11%. You can't set the fixed uh, 3%. You have to look at the chart. Like, where is the logical exit? I, I don't believe in these fixed percentage stops. I see some, you know, it, it, it doesn't make any sense. Because different stocks have different volatility, like something like this, uh, like one of the, one of your stocks had 15% ADR and one had like a 5% ADR. So this is a three time difference, like a 3% stop on a stock with 15% ADR. It doesn't make sense. It's 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 really really tight. Yeah, trading on mobile is hard. <laughs> hey, iHooter69, if I give you a million, you, you'll turn it into 10,000? Sounds like a good deal. IAC, you know what? I, I can already know. Yeah, or, or never mind. It's it's lower ADR. You don't have to trade it. It's 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 um, yeah. It's a low, low ADR. Have the CAN. <laughs> I can't get out of it. <laughs> oh, I have to call interactive brokers. I'm gonna do it after after the stream has ended. Oh. 
there's always something. Always something. That's why you have several brokers, because you never know. Okay, Tesla. Okay, this is very good on Tesla. Look at how he undercut, and now it's trying to reclaim. That's very, very good. And it's building another higher low compared to yesterday. So, so, so far, so good. Um, so far, it's bullish price, price action, even though the stock is down on the day. I really want it to go like 1500 or something this month. That would be so good. I would say this is a zero star setup. Three days ago, it had like a you know pretty decent setup, like a four star setup or something. Today is a zero um, um, star setup. The setup on show, they are really good. Wow, uh, four star, maybe even five. Really, really good. It also had a really good setup here. Come two months ago, yeah, really good setup. Yeah, plug testing VWAP again. Yeah, but this is, for me this is a swing trade. Like I, I, I don't think this thing has any support until it gets to the ten day. Like obviously, it's probably not gonna get it to here uh, there today, and maybe not even this week. But you know, it may just go sideways until the ten day catches up. It doesn't have to go down, but I, I do think it has decent downside. I, I do think it could be easily have another 10 20 maybe even 30 percent downside so you know um, i'm gonna use my stop levels and if it bounces off vwap or sorry fa uh, rejects gets rejected vwap again i may add more uh, but i'm not gonna uh, but only for like an intraday trade uh, i already have full like overnight size i'm not gonna do more than the shares i have overnight But I would love to see this thing go down to 60 bucks or something today, intraday. <laughs> Wait, what happened to CCIV? I got stopped out of it. Uh, I did some opening range highs on this thing, but apparently I got stopped out of it. It's a hot sector. And uh, just look at the volume on this thing. This is this is crazy, crazy town right here. It's had like 200 million uh, share days. After they announced they're gonna mer uh, merge with Lucid Motors, so that's so I, I bought this little flag break on the sixty minute. Oh, okay, okay. Never mind. I I I did a miscalculation on it. I I didn't think the float was so this high. Never mind. It hasn't even traded the float the past two days. Okay. There goes my thesis. I thought it was like a 50 million float or something on it. Okay, never mind. It was a mistake. Yeah, I shouldn't have bought it. But I thought the float was much, much lower. All right, never mind then. I'm taking it. It's, yeah, okay, it hasn't been announced yet. It's only rumors. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
All right, yeah. Man, I have so many. Oh my god, guys, do you remember my positions indicator? What happens every time I hit 30 positions? Any old timers in here? Anyone who's been with me more than uh, six months or eight months? You know what happens every time I hit 30 positions. Yep, not market crash, but uh, usually there is a market pullback um, soon after I hit 30 positions in my portfolio or reach uh, 30 positions. Something to be aware of. <laughs> Just saying. I'm not one of these doomsday guys, but you know. <laughs> It happened like three times, three times in a row since I started streaming. Every single time I get to 30 positions, the market starts a pullback within a few days. It's an insanely reliable indicator. And not this time. Yeah, this time is different. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, or actually, if I just keep it at 29... So instead of entering another position, like if I see something good, I have to get rid of something else before I get into that position. Then we could uh, keep the market from fading. Yeah, that's a good idea, actually. Kick 30 viewers? <laughs> what? I'm going to kick everyone. I'm gonna make David moderator and he's gonna kick everyone. Oh, Vusi, didn't they show off their uh, product at uh, CES? I think I read something about it. They have these like 3D glasses or some kind of stuff like that. Wait, wait. Am I reading this right? <laughs> so someone paid Carol Baskin 299 bucks on Cameo to pump Somedica. And the, and the stock went up like 400%. Chase some bond. <laughs> Isn't he in prison or something? Why did... Oh, hey, guys. Why don't I buy brand... Uh, or or uh, pay brand they love to uh, mention some low float stock? <laughs> well, this actually is not a low floater, but it, uh, it's a low share price. But... <laughs> Don't do this at home, it's illegal, I think. Yeah, don't do it. Don't do it, guys. It's probably illegal. Or maybe it's not. No, no, it's not illegal. As long as you disclose it, right? You can actually... Isn't it like... like as long as you disclose it, that you're that it's a promo, paid promotion, you can actually do paid promoter.
Chew Exotic. <laughs> No, you can't give investing advice if you're not licensed. You can't. You can get, give general advice. I think you can only give advice that applies to like everyone. Yeah, for entertainment purposes, you can give any advice. Excel, I think it looks pretty decent. Building uh, higher lows, lower highs. It's getting tighter. Setting up as a potential five star setup. Brandy, if, if Brandy and Chasing Bond get the engage, I, I will. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't I don't want to have anything to do with brandy love if that happens. Because I don't want to do any have anything to do with Jason Bond. <laughs> but he's probably going to prison, right? Isn't he? After the uh, raging bull fraud. AI Traders love triangle, yeah. Yeah, a lot of these recent IPOs are shaping up, like Airbnb broke out two days ago, PLTR kind of, ah, it's not a good setup, but it is, it is strong, AI is another one. What's Snowflake doing? Uh, it doesn't look good yet. ASAN. Um, nah, it's not a setup yet. Maybe tomorrow. Yeah, it needs to extend a bit more, I think. <laughs> Everyone else yawned? Hey, QP. Mm, nah, I don't know. I don't like it that much. We can tighten up for a few more days, so I would like it more. Okay, looks like Plug wants to reclaim um, VWAP. Drag and fly. Drag and fly. Drag and fly. Jeff Bishop. Yeah, sketchy people, man. Sketchy, sketchy people. Stock promoters and scammers and there's so many of them. And there's so many scams going on right now because there's, you know, people just, you know, they just rush into anything. There's so much easy money going around. It's like a very easy time to be a scammer. It's like all these shit coins that got busted um, like a couple of years ago after the uh, last like big run in the cryptos. There were so many of them which is total frauds. 
a lot of people lost all their money or at least all their um, investment and probably not enough people went to jail H-Y-L-M Looks like a piece of shit Do I still have impersonators on Twitter? No idea When I buy a breakout, how do I handle them? Depends. It depends. Usually I try to keep them until they stop me out in one way or another. Okay, I'm gonna do one more scan. I'm so tired. Yes, I do work out in them like a few hours before the market opens or like yeah, 3 4 hours before the market opens. No, we're gonna keep plug until it gets stopped out. E signal? I don't use E signal much anymore. Yes, I do keep a journal. You need to keep a journal. Entries, exit states. The methodology or setup, if you want to add that, I keep it simple.
All right, guys, I think I'm going to cut this stream. I have some other stuff to do. I have some other business uh, related things I have to take care of today. Uh, all right, guys, thanks for joining. See you tomorrow. Good luck.